Right now, we're getting a look at isolation rooms designed specifically for contagious diseases. NBC4 reporter Ted Hart has a look inside what's known as a negative pressure room. Ted? Yeah, negative pressure rooms are meant to prevent cross-contamination within a hospital. All hospitals have them. There are several hundred here in central Ohio. Ohio Health's what Director of Infection Prevention, Joe Henman, uses a tissue to test the airflow. It's being sucked in. So that's exactly what we want. We want all the air to flow in so that nothing comes out into the hallway. Ohio Health has 85 inpatient negative pressure rooms designed to draw air in from the hospital but force air out to eliminate the risk of spreading the disease to any other rooms or common areas of the hospital. It has its own dedicated um, exhaust system and it is exhausted at the top of the building but only after it goes through a special filter that filters out 99.97 percent of anything in the air. The hospital has emergency clinical response teams that will assist in getting coronavirus patients into the hospital and into a negative pressure room and staff members will wear gowns, gloves, masks and face shields anytime they are in the room. Our plan for a COVID-19 patient is we have um, dedicated cohorted staff. So if we have one patient, then we have one nurse who would care for that patient and they would not care for any other patients during that shift. And if the number of inpatients exceeds the existing negative pressure rooms, we're told the hospitals can use portable high efficiency particulate airflow filters mm -hmm. in a regular room to create that same negative airflow. Local for you, Ted Hart, NBC4.